Hey guys, my uh, throat kind of hurts. I've been using my voice a lot to make these videos, so I'm probably going to give it a day's rest here for Wednesday's trading. Um, I got a big iced tea with me. I wanted to give you uh, a video though, and that's going to be the iron rules of, um, well, I'm going to call them the iron rules of ICT day trading. Uh, these are just my own opinion, guys. I'm not saying that Michael agrees with this or not. So for now, having uh, tried to implement ICT trading for quite some time, uh, diligently and, and sincerely, here's what I can say. Number one, risk management comes first. So the first iron rule is that your initial stop for whatever trade you're taking must be the greatest amount of risk that you are willing to you're willing to put on the trade. So your initial stop is always your widest. Your stop will then go to break even as you trail the stop up and your stop will only tighten as price goes to your destination. So that's iron rule number 1 is capital preservation. Okay? That's iron rule number 1, capital preservation. Iron rule number two, all entries must be somehow associated with some sort of a PD array. And there are, there are many patterns, guys, from as simple as a three swing, a three candle swing pattern to an order block to a turtle soup to an inverted fair value gap or to a normal fair value gap to new day opening gap. I mean, there's virtually an... Uh, if you go study his stuff, there's virtually an endless pool of, of uh, PD arrays from which to choose, and they're happening all the time. But you, every single trade entry should be associated with some PD array. If you can't find any PD arrays or you feel like you cannot identify any PD arrays on which to enter, throw an order above an old high or low and call it a turtle soup. That's the best that I can offer you. So those are the two iron rules, okay, of ICT day trading. Number one is capital preservation. Your initial stop is your widest or greatest amount of risk that you are willing to take on. The stop will then be trailed down and risk will be cut over time, including taking parcels. So the iron rule number one of ICT day trading is to preserve capital. Iron rule number two of ICT day trading. A trade idea must be associated with some PD array, some pattern. There are many to choose from, but it should, it must be associated with some ICT pattern. Okay? So you want more entries, go learn more patterns. So iron rule number one is capital preservation, and iron rule number two is that all trades must be associated. Uh, with a clearly identifiable pattern. Okay? Iron rule number one, capital preservation. Iron rule number two, all trades must be identified with an ICT PD array and or pattern. Okay, guys? They cannot come at random. They, you must be able to say in your mind, yep, that's why I entered. That's my, he calls them multipliers, okay? So I'll, I'll rephrase the iron rules, two iron rules. Iron rule number one, capital preservation. Always comes first. Iron rule number two, all trades must be associated with a multiplier of some kind. Again, all trades must be associated with a multiplier of some kind. Guys, I'm going to give my voice a rest for Wednesday. My throat is hurting quite a bit. Um, so that's going to be it, guys. Two iron rules of ICT day trading. Capital preservation and all trades must be associated with a multiplier. Good luck, guys.